What's going on all you mentees, the Uncanny Omar here, and today join me for an advanced look at the Flash by Jeff Johns Omnibus Volume 2 from DC Comics. Let's do this thing. Okay, so, an advanced look at the Flash Omnibus Volume 2. And I say advanced, but I know some of my Canadian and European brothers and sisters already got this book. So, it's an advanced look for some of you that don't have it yet. But here we go with Flash by Jeff Johns Omnibus Volume 2. And wrapping up his run on Volume 2 of Flash. So after Crisis on Infinite Earths, the Flash book restarted with a Volume 2 and a number 1. And <laughs> Jeff Johns gets to almost wrap it up. There are some five issues that are not collected in here. I'll talk about those here in a second. But I did want to put these books together. Here's Volume 1 and here's Volume 2. The spines of both books together. I find it really interesting that both of them uh, are just Wally standing there. Yeah, whatever. And then the back of the book. Both of them retailing for $99.99. With this particular cover being drawn by Michael Turner and this one over here by Brian Boland. As far as Under the Dust Jacket, you have The Flash over here by Scott Collins, and then The Flash Running over here by Howard Porter. Now, the contents that are in this omnibus have been previously collected in these omnis, so the original Flash omnis were a set of three. I compare Volume 1 to my new Volume 1, and the stories in here are part of Volume 2, and then all of Volume 3. And we'll do a quick little comparison with the artwork just to show you as far as what the binding looks like. So let's go ahead and get this open. We have red bookend pages, of course. And there's my buddy, Wally West. My Flash that I grew up reading. The Flash by Jeff Johns Omnibus. And the book is really separated into three parts. Here's your table of contents. And I'm sorry, this all the credits over here. And what I mean by three parts is it kicks off with th this. This book is genius. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I know I'm gonna hype it up, but I'm. I'm sorry. Sometimes I can't help hyping up these overviews. This is my favorite Flash run of all time. I love what Mark Wade did with the character. I love the mythos that Mark Wade introduced. Uh, the Speed Force, all of that. I think his run is genius. But Jeff Johns was able to take all that stuff and perfected it into this two omnibus volume set so if you've not read it if you've not read flash if you want to know what flash is all about you can go to mark wade's trade paperbacks they're awesome i'm not saying they're not at all uh, but you can come and see what all the hype was about when jeff johns was writing this book to me this book felt like reading uncanny x-men when i was a kid again i would come home from work this is so dorky i bought a stack of the old old trade paperbacks like in back in 2002 2003 and 2004 i bought like a stack of the the, the big trade paperbacks um and i would come home every day after work just to uh just to go lay in bed and read The Flash by Jeff Johns because it was that exciting. I needed to know what happened next. I did not look forward to going into work the next day. I just wanted to stay home and read comics. And so that to me brought back memories of being a kid and wanting to stay home instead of going to school. But anyway, uh, what I was saying earlier is that this book is kind of split up into three parts. You have the Blitz storyline, which introduces us to a new character and sort of an old character, and that is Zoom. And I will let you find out exactly how all of that happens. And all I will say is, holy crap, you are in for a treat. And Zoom is an evil, evil bastard. Like, the things that he does to Wally and his... Just... The, this guy is evil. And, I, you know, Jack Kirby. Always. The, the villains make the heroes, right? You make a villain so evil and vile, it makes the hero shine even more. And that's exactly the formula that Jeff Johns used with this run on flash so blitz kicks off with grod and his gorilla city gorillas attacking keystone and then we get the introduction of zoom through these pages after this run and all of this is known as blitz freaking top notch something happens at the end of blitz and i'm not gonna ruin that for anybody that almost feels like all i will say is a one more day sort of storyline and Th that's what this is and this is called ignition so we find ourselves again with our supporting cast and they're kind of scattered about 
Flash has been missing for a few months, and you can find out exactly what happens then. And then we get all of the events that tie into the Identity Crisis storyline. So if you've not read Identity Crisis, I strongly suggest it before heading into the next story arc here, right after Ignition. And that story arc, not going to ruin it for anybody. We've done an old reader, new reader. I'm sure you all can probably Google exactly what happened, but there are secrets to what Barry Allen did. And Barry Allen is the second Flash. The third Flash, of course, my Flash I grew up with is Wally West, who was once his sidekick known as Kid Flash. And the mystery is like, how could Barry Allen have done this? So Wally's trying to find out, breaking into the watchtower, you can find out all that goodness. Meanwhile, in the background, the rogues are all just freaking conspiring against each other. They're working for different organizations. So in the first omnibus, we had something called the rogues. And to me, Jeff Johns made the rogue gallery from Flash up there with Batman and Spider-Man's rogue gallery as far as like some of the best villains. Towards the end of this run, we have this huge story arc that's been building up called the Rogue War. So each one of the rogues is on a different opposing team. Uh, so then the rogues are split and then they have to fight each other. All while Flash is trying to save the day. All while Flash is part of this Villains United storyline uh, where Cheetah and Zoom team up to take down Wonder Woman and Flash. So that's a crossover with Wonder Woman. So this does collect... Okay, but let's just talk about the Flash issues. This collects issues 192 to 225 of Flash. Again, volume 2 of what is known as Flash. And then Wonder Woman 214 as well as The Flash, The Secret of Barry Allen, one shot. And 225 is really a good stopping point. After that, uh, you had Stuart Eminence uh, single issue. And then you have like a three or four part... Uh, event, or I'm sorry, not event, I'm sorry, three or four part storyline written by Joey Cavalletti. And that is not collected, nor has it ever been collected in any kind of collected edition. And that is Flash 226 to 230. And then we take a little break because we have Infinite Crisis. And in issue 231, that has been collected. I have done a Flash reading order if you want to check out the playlist for that for reading orders. And 231 is Mark Wade's return to the character of Flash. But those missing issues, 226 to 230, have never been collected. I mean, they're not really necessary. Let's go back here because I don't want to spoil anything in the back. But it would be nice to have it all in one book. And I really thought they were going to do that. Now, there is enough for a third omnibus uh, with the things leading up to Flashpoint. And I can't go into detail about those issues. Uh, we still have the Legion of Three Worlds. We actually have the Flashpoint event. And I've realized we're having a Flashpoint omnibus later. But there's still enough for a Flash by Jeff Johns Omnibus Volume 3. Maybe they could collect it in those, in that Omnibus. I don't know. And I don't know if DC has any plans further uh, than this Volume 2 and Flashpoint. But those are the three big story arcs that are in here. There's a lot of in-between issues, a lot of character development. You get to find out backstories of the rogues and what makes them who they are. You start to sympathize with a lot of these characters that at one time you would have thought they were just one-dimensional, run-of-the-mill villains. And that's the beauty of this run. That is the wonderful run of Jeff Johns. Uh, now... Towards the beginning, uh, and the three arcs are also done by different artists. You have Scott Collins wrapping up his run. You have Alberto Dose's run here on Ignition. And then Howard Porter, the gentleman that used to draw JLA with Grant Morrison, joins Jeff Johns on Flash. And his artwork by now is freaking awesome. I love his art during this run. Um, he's up there. I love Scott Collins. I, I can't. I can never say who my favorite Flash artist really is because there's so many. There's been so much talent on Flash, not just during Jeff Johns' run, but you know throughout the history of Flash post Crisis. And I'm sure Carmine Infantino is a lot of people's favorite Flash artist. But that was before my time. Uh, now let's look in the back here for some extras. So here we have the bonus materials. Here are what all the Blitz issues look like together. The covers. Issues 197 leading up to issue 200. Uh, this is an unused cover by Phil Notto. And this is the Secret of Barry Allen trade paperback with all the covers in the back by um, Michael Turner. And this was made into a stat yep, a statue. And I had no idea about the statue until I looked at the extras of Omnibus Volume 3. And then a little bio on who Jeff Johns is. Now, one of the biggest questions I'm sure I'm going to be asked is... 
Uh, does this have any printing errors that I've seen? And I made sure to look through these pages, the important pages that I know of, um, and it all looks good to me. Um, so let's do a little comp and actually, no, let's take a look at the binding. So here's what the binding looks like. Honestly, it is very similar to the very first volume of this. It's a little tight and I'm sure you all could see when I was flipping through these pages. We're about four issues away from the final issue and the book is trying to close up on me. And that's due to all that ex excess glue down here on the spine. And the same thing happens towards the beginning of the book too. Again, gotta break that glue in and that will help a lot of those issues. Very similar to Scott Snyder's Omnibus Volume 1. And of course, there's different printings of the book. Sometimes they're printed elsewhere and they're a lot better. Now, here is what the spreads look like. So there is some gutter loss, of course. I don't think it's as bad as Volume 1, but let's do a comparison. Most of the time when I do these comparisons, it's fairly easy because I just leave the book open and you can be like, oh, obviously this version opens better or that one. Uh, this one, I have to hold this one down, the original Volume 2, because... I'm not gonna lie, the original three volumes were kind of a little bit of a mousetrap. They start shutting on you, no matter what page you're on. At least with this one, you can open it up in the middle and be fine. But here is what these two pages, this of course being towards the end of the second volume, the original printing, and this being towards the beginning of the second volume of the new printing. Uh, but just a quick comparison, and of course the gutter loss right there and right here. You're better off with this one, of course. <laughs> And I'm just gauging it on the nipples, Grodd's nipples. You can see both nipples in this version. In this version, that nipple is gone. I mean, maybe if you hold, I can't believe I'm talking about nipples when talking about, I never thought I'd be doing this. All right, let's, let's look at another comparison page. The original volume three up at the top and the new printing of volume two with this same story. My, one of my favorite spreads amongst uh, these, this run by Jeff Johns. And sadly, both aren't staying down. Both want to close up on you. Maybe this one a little bit. I, I can't. I can't even lie. It's. It's not a little bit better. It's. It's about the same. At least the whole book's not trying to shut on you. The, the actual back hardcover staying closed. It's a little frustrating, but to kind of give you an idea, this is usually easier. Um. Dang. All right. But anyway, you kind of get the idea. I hope. But man, just how could they mess up the spread? Got Magneta, Heatwave, Trickster, the new Trickster, Pied Piper, the top, Mirror Master, Boomerang, Captain Boomerang Jr., and Captain Cold. Uh, I, lo I love this storyline. Rogue War, it ends so strong. Um, there we go, maybe. You can hold it down like that. But you get the idea. Now, the question that I'm sure I'm going to be asked in case you have those original first three omnis should you upgrade to this omnibus that is all up to you it is your money it's you know the retail price for both of these is two hundred dollars uh there are no extras added it's the exact same extras of all the previous volumes all of this was previously collected in volume two and three of the original uh the binding is a little bit better as you saw sometimes it didn't feel like it was but it is a little bit better so really, it's up to you. Um, it, it's really up to you. I thought they were going to add those extra five issues after Jeff Johns' run. That's why I, I took the I, I bit the bullet and bought the first one, and to you know do overviews of the book for you all. So ultimately, it is up to you whether you want to upgrade or not, or even call it an upgrade. Uh, but that, as they say is that. Don't forget to check out our sponsor when this book comes out. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online source for collected editions up to 50% off. Retail price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on excellent packaging so your stuff gets to you in excellent condition and they have amazing customer service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And for all you minties that are watching, if you're a first time customer, don't forget to mention that Near Mint Condition sent you their way for a promotional credit on free shipping on your next order. Now this is only for US customers. Customers. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your source for the hottest books with deep discounts, customer service, and excellent shipping that will keep you coming back for more. And that was the page count, the build, and the content of this omnibus. 
Let me know in those comments down below if you've never read this, if this is your first taste of The Flash by Jeff Johns, or if this is your first taste of The Flash in general. Um, that This is my favorite run on Flash, and I love Mark Wade. I think Mark Wade, like I mentioned, established so many amazing mythos, but just... Jeff Johns built on those and made an epic storyline. Uh, let me know what you think about a possibility of a third Flash book and what you would include in it. And more importantly, please, everybody, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. We are on Redbubble and on Patreon. Amazing ways to support the channel. And thank you so much to our existing patrons. More importantly, all of you stay healthy, stay safe, and much love. <laughs>